Hey guys, how are you? Good to see you. Thanks for watching. Hope uh, you're all doing well, guys. Now, I was looking into this story because I've got a friend in Los Angeles. I've known for a long time. And, uh, you know, I know they live on the fault there, you know, with the, uh, you know, always, you know, oh, there's going to be a big uh, earthquake. But, <clears throat> you know, there's always a risk. But, uh, of course, he's asleep. <laughs> so he doesn't worry about it at all. It's like, yeah, yeah, whatever. I don't really, you know, I mean, but he's a friend and, uh, and you've got to care for your friends, right? Now, this Hawaii volcanic eruption, um, this website here says, is it intentionally triggered to generate massive tsunami? Now, you might say, Joe, it's just natural stuff. I've been t telling the sleep people that and they go, no, it's natural, it's natural. Yeah, 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 yeah. So what about the fracking that's going on there? We had a bit of a joke about the fracking and we, we sort of said fracking, you know, fracking, fracking, fracking. You're right, right? So you know what I mean. <laughs> it was quite funny actually. But it's not funny, right? But we we're just chatting, da da da. And but this is there's the magma there. Now what they've done here says Hawaii volcanic eruption. It, was it is it intentionally triggered to generate a massive tsunami? Well, couldn't put it past anyone these days, right? The um, the way it's going, got uh, you know everyone's saying it's it's a, a, apocalyptic. God's doing it. It's the end of you know it's the end days. You know, got, well, I, well, I mean, to be honest, this has to happen before Jesus comes back. You know, so you know I'm saying yeah, well, well hopefully. It is, but you know what I mean. You don't want to de destroy anyone. You don't want anyone kill. But this in the Bible it says to do this before God comes back. So, and I, I think God is very angry at what's happening with this beautiful world. I mean, come on, it's it's getting dis destroyed by these evil entities, fallen angel. Ugh. Anyway, Hawaii volcanic eruption intentionally triggered to generate massive tsunami. Is it? Right, an increasing number of earthquakes under Hawaii's Kilauea oh, preceded the appearance of fissures spewing molten lava in the Power Puna region on the Big Island on May 3rd. <clears throat> Excuse me. The newly active fissures have led to the destruction of homes, evacuation of residents, closure of roads, and emission of poisonous sulfuric acid, which will impact the region for months, not in, if not years. While most assume that in the case of, of uh, the eruption are due to natural geological processes stemming from a hot spot under the big Hawaiian island, there is startling evidence linking human intervention to this recent wave of volatile activity. Examination of the fracking that's another word. Practices at Huna Geothermal Power Station. <clears throat> Who would put a power station there? Well, located in the same Puna region affected by earthquake and volcanic activity, directly raises the strong possibility that the fracking was a direct factor in unleashing what is currently occurring. What makes such a possibility even more disturbing as is the background of the co company that owns the power station guy. This is the key, which is officially called the Puna Geothermal Venture. The company is financially connected to the Rothschilds family. Well, duh. Boom. There you go. Hello, hello. I know, right? According to the military intelligence group and on, forms the leadership of the worldwide satanic cult, covertly fomenting planet-wide catastrophes and wars to maintain global power. Now, QAnon is controversial. Some people think it, some people thought it was Donald Trump, but some people think, yeah, maybe, you know, is it, is it planted? Is it, you know, controlled opposition? I don't know. I, I, I just keep an eye on things, you know what I mean, guys? A partial collapse of Kilauea uh, volcano could trigger massive tsunamis that would not only engulf the Hawaiian Islands, but also devastate the U.S. Pacific coast, as well as the coastal regions of the other Pacific Rim nations. The possibility that the Puna Geothermal Venture conducted fracking in a deliberate effort to pr secret pr promote earthquakes to trigger such a collapse and therefore generate massive tsunamis deserves a critical investigation. It does too. Um, and this goes on and on and on about it. But uh, it began operation, it began in 1993. Wow. Uh, it's been a constant state of eruption since 1983. And that it's East Rift Zone has been a prominent part of the love for that have destroyed local communities. There it is there. Wow. 
says was on April 3rd and May 2nd. So it's a big, I'm not going to, you know, read this all out. So, but I'm just going to say to you that, is it, um, um, could there be no uh, human interference in this? I mean, people think, you know, it is a good cover because people think, yeah, oh, you're, you're nuts if you think that you could start a volcano or whatever, right? But can, is it possible, you know, with the fracking? You don't know, do you? I mean, well, this video says, let's have a look at this video, Mega Tsunami. Let's see how it will do it. Now, this uh, exopolitics.org, I'll leave the link, says that they were contacted by the United States Ge Geological Survey uh, regarding staggering development taking place right now during the eruption of Kilauea, Kilauea volcano in Hawaii, an area of land on the south flank of the volcano known as the Helena Slump, about the size of Manhattan, is moving and could break off onto the ocean, into the ocean, sending a tsunami toward the west coast with 100 foot waves. I think it's 100 foot, yeah? Uh, waves moving at 500 miles an hour. What the? Cities like San Diego, Los Angeles, and others could be wiped off the face of the earth. <gasps> oh, wow. That is, what? So now I come back to the question is of what was the hidden purpose behind the Rothschilds backed geothermal venture in Puna? Oh, <gasps> As suggesting Kunon's December 7th post, the Rothschild family leads a global cult that has been at the forefront of controlling the planet. Well, that's, that's legit, that's true, for nearly two centuries. They've got patience, haven't they? In an earlier November, Kunon revealed the connection between Satanism and the Rothschild. Well, duh, we all know that, don't we, guys? Now, let's have a look at this, what it will do, right? But I tell you what, guys, that, that is something to look at I mean, it's it could cause an earthquake in excess of, of nine in magnitude, and a, and a mega tsunami. Previous uh, mega tsunamis in Hawaii, 11, 111. Oh, it's a long time ago, but I mean maybe they've followed the, the you know they've followed what to do, break it off. Because when I was uh, watching No More Hiding, Wake Up uh, channel, I did a video on it. I could see that there was actually people with like as he said in the, is there a fire people you know spreading this fire or what's what's happening you know what, why and it's unusual for this volcano i mean it just keeps going and going and going i mean there's a certain point when a, a volcano stops but it's just devastating everything and um i got another video with the fema the fema barges are on their way guys to hawaii so i'll just show you that info uh, and it's not good. I'll leave the link to this, uh, but there's a lot of people start talking about it. The FEMA barges, which looks like this, guys, like a massive floating prison, right? And they are on their way. They're not going to be as deliberate as, as in um, uh, when they hit Texas, uh, when the barges went there. They're not going to be so ob ob obvious. A flotilla of FEMA barges each hold 2,000 people, guys. Oh dear. In San Diego, um, staging they're going to stage the area in San Diego. Is it currently en route to Hawaii? They they come from a secret location there. Um, the vessels, he said, departed California on June 5th and travelling at a speed of 20 knots will arrive in Hawaii on the 11th. That is yesterday. Rather than berth at Port Allen uh, or Highway Harbour, the ships will drop anchor 10 miles offshore and use power boats to ferry displaced persons to one of three FEMA housing ships. Oh, there's three of them. That's, that's 6,000 people. But FEMA is, is on a no mission of mercy. Anyone escorted under FEMA Bajor will be incarcerated and transported to Man, Main Island FEMA internment camp in Region 4. There, there, they will be held captive by a controversial agency with a long running of imprisoning people against their will. It's true. FEMA is trying to avoid the same mistakes they made during Hurricane Harvey, that's what I was trying to think of, which caused $125 billion damage to Houston. Floods inundated hundreds of thousands of uh, homes, displaced 50,000 people in the storm's aftermath. 
FEMA sprang into action, but not for help. FEMA barges the size of container ships. All the people separated, male from female, kids from from their, their parents. I, I read a lot about that last year, but that's what they look like, guys. Would you go on one of those? If they offered you either death or this? Because then we're offering uh, homeless people jail or a female camp, and they're not allowed out. They're not allowed out unless someone comes to pick them up. So there you go. It might happen again. So they're on their way. Let's have a look at this. Could this happen? Let's have a look. This is, uh, could uh, this tsunami happen? I mean, not the barges. They're already going there. Poor Hawaiians, I tell you. What, what do you do? Your, your home's devastated. What, what, what can you do, right? It's disgusting. But this is what will happen if a part of this um, volcano breaks away. Nearby Lani and, and Maui will suffer as well. Uh, <clears throat> of course they will. Uh, this is uh, like a rough timeline video of what could possibly happen not just an island affair a mega tsunami now you can see here they these are, are miles high this is the tsunami these are the waves okay that will hit um across the united states expect 30 meters i think it's no it could be miles guys i'm not sure i'm meters you guys are miles so it could be 30 miles run up maybe miles i think they're on about miles along the west coast of north america so be on alert here, guys, if you're on the coast, just in case. Uh, you can see here what happens. Boom. A clue of friend collapse and, and megastructure would make a bad day, for, correct. But you can see that this could happen. I mean, um, part of it's dropped away before, but that was millions of years ago. But are they helping it? Are they helping it? I think... Uh, this is oh, it's miles per hour. It must be miles per hour. There you go. Uh, yeah, of course it's going to push a volume of water. So could this happen, guys? I mean, well, it's happening. I mean, it's starting to move, right? It's starting to come away. So this is not if, it's when. You know what I mean? Are they helping it along, the old Rothschilds? You know, I, as I said before, I was looking at No More, um, no More Hiding Let's Wake Up um, channel, a lovely bloke, and he... Who's saying, what's this? What's this? And I did a video on it, I'll show you. And I could see people behind there, and I did a more analytic view of it, and I'll show you. Now, this is um, No More Hiding uh, Wake Up Channel. And he said, Is a flamethrower going on in Hawaii? Now, it looks a bit blurry here, but I noticed that I, I could make out there was someone with a spray. I thought it would like to doubt the fire or, you know, put something on it. But but No More Hiding said that, um, I should know his name, proper name is No More Hiding. This is the video I made off his video, and I, could, I, I, I took a closer look at what was happening here, and you can see that there's something spraying out of this person or, or thing. Uh, but I, I noticed there was a, a body here. But some people could see it, but um, some people couldn't. But if you, I, took a, I took some photos, and where are they? They were here. Yeah, here, are. and like there, there's there's the head, and there's the spray bottle. So are they where they're trying to? You know, people said, oh, maybe they're trying to put the the fire out, but you can't put the volcanic um, the lava. That's very hard to do with a flame retardant. I mean, come on now. But uh, they said, well, maybe they're doing a, a you know a break. But uh, but as I said before. Um, there was there was human inter interaction here. This is uh, you know people said oh it's just people trying to help, but you can see here there's something in the background here too. So are they trying to push this so it will do this? There you go. I'll leave the link to this anyway. But there we go. Here it can <clears throat> you know the collapse before could this happen again? And are they is it being helped by the Rothschild family? I mean the Rothschilds are evil entities that do control the finances in America. There's uh, the bankers, the Rothschild family, the Rockefellers. Um, they're all got heaps of dough, heaps of uh, connections, heaps of power, and it's all satanic. It's all evil. It's not good for the human race. They hate us, and uh, they're trying to destroy God's children. Um, God's not a happy chappy. He's, uh, you know, but as I said before, all this has to happen. Before he comes back, he knew this was going to happen, and I think 
it's your choice what you want, who you want to go with. You know what I mean? Like, um, it's 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 getting closer, guys. I mean, a lot of things are happening that are destroying people, destroying homes, and it's horrible. But yeah, this could this happen? I mean, or when is it going to happen, really? But you can see the barges are, are going there to Hawaii, displacement of uh, human beings. Uh, uh, sadly, their homes have been taken away. It would be shocking to do that, to have that to happen. But could it happen to Los Angeles as well, where my friend is? I mean, he doesn't believe anything I say. So um, he'll just say, yeah, yeah, whatever, you know. Uh, I mean... You've got to have open eyes and say, yeah, maybe this could happen. I mean, this is not just a conspiracy theory. It's actually happening. So, you know, when, when people say to me, friends of mine, they go, oh, you and that conspiracy stuff. You know, it's not a conspiracy. It's fact. I look, they don't investigate at all. They don't. I say, oh, is it on TV? I oh, know. Well, it's not legit. <laughs> you know, right? The mentality of them is like, wow, well, I mean, who's the blonde one here? Hello. <laughs> Just ask Pen Woodsman. He said, I'm the smartest blonde he knows. I oh, know. That is not right, Pen Woodsman. That is not a compliment. I'm going to slap you. But anyway, guys, I'll love and leave you. Take care. God bless. Stay safe. I'll leave the link and uh, uh, let's pray that this does not happen. And uh, my heart and prayers goes out to all the Hawaiians. And whoever's uh, affected by this or will be affected by this, let's hope it does not collapse like this and send accelerates to 200 miles per hour. And, uh, yeah, a lot of prayers needed, guys. Take care. Love you all. Bye-bye.